Moin, wir sind hier beim Gothum Open Air in den slowakischen Bergen, relativ nah an der ungarischen Grenze. Wir haben hier Vader, Septic Flash, Shamash, diverse relativ hochkarätige Bands. Ist, glaube ich, das größte slowakische Open Air für diese Musik. Wir haben jetzt den Drummer von Vader und von Divine Chaos hier und ich wollte ihm mal ein paar Fragen stellen. Uh, so James, how long did it take for you to play the first tune on your violin that was not out of tune? I don't think that ever, I don't think that ever happened. So it's still out of tune? I, I don't think I, no, I don't think I even really ever practiced once properly. Okay, because I, I read that you played the violin. Yeah, I did, well, played is, a very, is probably the wrong word, but yeah. Yeah, I, I tried a lot of musical instruments when I was a kid. Music didn't really start for me until very late, much later when I discovered metal. And then uh, about a year later I started playing the drums. I worked a lot on not really listening to uh, Dossen, uh, the first main drummer of Vader, but actually listening to his influences. So guys like Bill Ward and Scott Travis and Dave Lombardo, you know. I've heard that the last days were pretty chaotic and you didn't get sleep and most probably you won't get sleep tonight either. No, no we won't. And um, I would like to ask you, uh, do you prefer this being on the road even under these circumstances or do you like being in the studio recording stuff this is this is what happens on festival season festival season is always no sleep you know it's always a lot of shows by by van or by plane because you know maybe you only have one or two shows a week so actually taking a tour bus is very expensive and very unnecessary mm. i always feel much more comfortable on stage than i do in a in a recording studio in a recording studio you just kind of have a blank wall And some guy who says, yeah, that was okay. We can use that. Or, or no, that sucked. And that's it, you know, it's, it's, it all feels very, sometimes very clinical, very dead, but live is, well, live. Anyway, while you're in the studio, what is most important to you as a drummer? And what is it that you would always say to a to sound engineer, what is important for you to hear on the record? What is important yeah. to hear very clearly? You know, well, always, of course, I want to be I want to show off my best side, like every every other musician. But I mean, I'm, I try not to be. Um, cr I try not to obsess over the details. You know, if it's basically what you want at the end of a studio, uh, your time in the studio is a good album, good songs. You know, and if you've done everything you can to show off those songs, to make sure that when there's a so as a drummer, when there's a solo, you're not playing too much and you're highlighting that solo and when there's a, like a really strong powerful riff you know you're you're pushing that riff on all the right accents so that it has even more power it's, it's just serving the material and and using your ears and just listening okay uh you've been in vader for almost seven years now even more than seven years seven years in, yeah next month seven years Okay, uh, have the guys shown you Poland and introduced you to its culture and... Oh, I live there, so yeah. Really? So, yeah. Yeah, I live in Krakow now. And uh, so, yeah, you know, I, I'm, I'm doing my best to speak the language. I don't speak it very well. I'm uh, very lazy with my Polish practice, much like with my violin practice. So, and generally speaking, I, I like Polish culture. I like the people. Uh, I have a lot of friends in Poland. Uh, I just don't like the politics so much, you know. It's very, it's very, very, very right. It's very nationalist and right wing at the moment. And that's, that's a shame. But I know that also young people are, young people do understand this and are seeing, learning more about the world thanks to things like Facebook and social media. They know that other countries uh, aren't like that. And so that I think in the coming years, we're going to see some more change in that, in that I hope. A czy wolisz pierog i ruskie, czy z grzybami i kapustą? A, ale jest też, jestem, jestem wegan stary, więc a, ruskie nie, nie można. Ok. I really love to, to appreciate them, I listen to them very, very rarely, but I do enjoy them. Um, it has, it definitely has a different, different quality, a much warmer sound. And if, You know, it feels like a special occasion when I listen to a vinyl, so it's, it's nice. But CD is great because you get the, the full mixed wav, you know, the, the real full sound. So um, if I have a chance, 
to listen to CDs and CDs, but who the fuck even has a CD player anymore, man? <laughs> even my laptops don't have CD players, man. It's fucking... It's, I get given CDs all the time, and I'm like, I actually have no way to fucking listen to this now. Are you on Spotify? No, well... Okay. By that occasion, here's a fucking CD of my band okay. that I would like to give you. Okay. If you have the opportunity to play it. I'm, man, I'd, I'd love the opportunity to play them. But at the moment, I just... I can't for the life of me, like, find a CD player. Not really. By the way, my company sells CD players, so... Does it? Yeah. Oh, fuck me. Well, good luck staying in business. <laughs> Thank you. Um, if you listen to Vader on cheap equipment, what do you miss most? Um, I don't know really I mean at the end of the day you get what you pay for when it comes to sound quality you know uh, thankfully cheap equipment now is much much better than cheap equipment about 10 years ago or 20 years ago or whatever. with Vader you know you probably you probably get more power out of the blast piece and more you know you get capture more of that aggression you feel more of that aggression I mean if you listen to it on the kind of cheap shit speakers then all you get is treble and just uh, what I call a kind of wasp in a box sound, you know, like this kind of noise. Yeah. That's it. Thank you very much. Right. Thanks, man. Thanks for having the time, although you're very stressed out. And okay, like drücken, subscribe drücken. Wir sehen uns das nächste Mal. Tschüss.